Phillips, Nzekwe, and Gab Awusa have their painstakingly done art pieces displayed here. They titled their joint exhibition, Different Strokes. Nzekwe lives and works in Delta State. He loves to experiment. He produces works that provoke discourse on sociocultural, economic, and environmental issues. I had looked at my immediate environment, the power situation, environmental issues around bad roads, no lights, everything, you know, had gone wrong. And at that time I was really feeling bad. I was listening to a speaker on TV and he said something that got me, you know, intrigued. He said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you're looking at will change. And so I said, it's time for me to invert the story from the story of gloom, of poverty and negativism as it were, and inverting the story to colors, brightness, things that people or an individual rather would like to see. Crush is actually a body of work spanning across like um, about 20 pieces in the collection, the series. In the pieces, you find this predominant form, the boy and the girl. This piece is from the Crush series, Inverted Exchange. You can see the female form and the male form, they are sort of inverted and they are communicating. Now, I looked at the democracy in Africa and in other parts of the world, even in the 21st century, where people cannot properly express themselves. I tried to use the child growing up as a child. I mean, it happened to all of us where we had our eyes on the neighbor's daughter or if you were a girl, you had your eyes on a boy that lived within the neighborhood. So at that time, you had your feelings bottled up that you couldn't express. And so I now reversed the situation to what we are experiencing as adults in the 21st century where we can't express ourselves. So the entire narrative of Crush is about feelings that are bottled up. Rather than talk about feelings of disappointment, feelings of hatred, I've inverted the story to be the story of love against the background of brilliant colors. He's also a sculptor. I have my sculptures in bronzes and wood. Recently, I've been experimenting on found objects using tin cans and all of that. This piece, for instance, is in a series of about seven, the Contemplation series. It's, uh, this is the, the one and that is the two. It talks about people who are unable to express themselves in 21st century Nigeria and Africa and in other parts of the world. I've represented people who are contemplating, some who are sort of dumbfounded, some who are in a fix. That is what I've done with these sculptures. I have the contemplation series in wood. He yearns to live in an ideal society. What I would call an ideal society is a society where people have love for their fellow countrymen and they have love for themselves and love for the environment. This exhibition attracted people from all walks of life. He's a little bit more experimental. He drips, you know, but he's also very figurative. You know, you find in his works, you know, actual um, figures. I like his sculptural pieces, even though he's more careful with his sculpture, but there's a sense in which he plays around with, you know, limbs. When they are standing, there's a very lean sense, you know, that reminds you of some of those and one who, um, you know, linear, linear figures. Phillips Nzekwe has had two solo exhibitions and also participated in many group and joint shows. He's a full-time studio artist.